Hey guys, it's Friday the 10th, and this is a repo update for those of you um, on YouTube that um, haven't got the updates because uh, I've been kind of just doing uh, Private Road and Patreon lately um, for various reasons, mainly because of the censorship. And um, But I know a lot of people want an update on the repo, so I'll give you an update. We remain at an elevated level no matter what the Fed said. Um, where we are today is at $477.8 billion, $407, 407 $477.8 billion are needed for the weekend, just to get through the weekend for the banks to say solvent. And the, the, the interesting thing about the repo market is the moment it is shut down or rates jump, is the moment that the banks go sideways or the hedge funds go sideways. If the hedge fund goes sideways, the banks go sideways, and it's too big to fail, and we turn into a gigantic destruction of the system. That's why the Fed's in there, um, mainly caused by European banks like Deutsche Bank. Uh, nobody trusts them anymore. And it, unbacked fiat money is a trust game. Nobody trusts Deutsche Bank anymore. There's all kinds of reasons. that The Fed's trying to keep rates low. Why do rates go up? Because of risk. Because of risk. And not many people are willing to lend into this market anymore, the prime dealers, which are the big banks, because they don't even trust each other. They know that this economic recovery is complete bullshit, 100% rigged. The stock market, the bond market, the gold market, the silver market, the crypto market, the FX market, everything 100% rigged with computer programs. 100% every day, every trade. Now, you don't have to do every trade because they they establish a band. You can go to here before they get slammed. They can go to here before it gets slammed. And then there's bigger operations. But I also put um, a new part of my repo chart for this for the private road members that you guys are getting a sneak peek out, which is the overnight totals. Because I keep hearing people saying, oh, there's $5 trillion of bank bailouts that's happened since September. It's not true. It's not true because they get paid back the next day on the overnight repos. But I put that number where in, there anyway because people keep quoting that number. Yes, $5 trillion have been loaned out. $5 trillion have been paid back. It's overnight. It's 24-hour loans. But there are term repos, and they are required. Don't get me wrong. It's not a good thing. They are required. Term repos are a bit longer. And there's been over a trillion dollars in term repos given out. Um, but those are paid back too. So it all depends on the amount outstanding is what I uh, count in my total. And then the POMOs are the permanent operations. Those don't get paid back. That's a flat out purchase. Uh, most likely of toxic uh, assets that are have, uh, have been re-hypothecated, meaning several owners. And the Fed is just taking it in because nobody else can buy it can hold it uh, because of the risk of losing uh, or ending up in a court or ending up at the DTCC saying, what the hell are you guys doing if you're not uh, doing your job, which is clearing transactions? So it's, it's really bad. I mean, it's as bad as it gets behind the scenes at the banks. They are all rehypothecating assets, using them for collateral. These are pledged all over the place, and it's not good. Anyway, uh, today in the POMOs, there was $3 billion, at least so far. They've been, once in a while, they'll add two POMOs in a day. And as you can see, since the beginning of the year, the POMOs have started to kick in. They kind of stopped at the end of the year. Um, the Fed announced that they are going to be pulling back on their operations, but it does not look like it. The total right now, as I said, is actually, it's no, it's not four seven. That's sorry. That is incorrect. It is four. 73 i did a uh what did i do it's around there <laughs> i'll have to go back and do the math again because i i totaled this column from that column so it should be 473 it's above 473 billion dollars are needed to buy these freaking banks there's some interesting things coming up next week on tuesday but here, first here's the pomos for today there's a reverse repo going on right now that won't be announced for a couple hours. I do add those in on the overnights because they are required for the banks to keep the interest rates down. And there's the 40.9 billion today. 
on a, well, it's not a one day, it's till Monday. So it's, it's overnight business days. But here's what's interesting that's coming up. And then, the, wait, uh, Pomo it was $3 billion today. At least so far, let me do a refresh. Yes, $3 billion looks like the total for today. Now, here's what I want to get into. This is the schedule that the Fed put out in the middle of December for the big destructive end of year thing, right? They, they just flooded it with money and said, we're going to put it in as much as necessary. And then everybody backed off, supposedly. I believe, I know that Steve Mnuchin weaseled out a way to use $100 bills as theoretical uh, collateral. All the banks had to do is claim they have a $100 bill in cash. Um, and you can't really audit that. So that's why he came out in mid-December, said we had $1.5 trillion $100 bills out there. I haven't seen that guy, uh, uh, Pozar Zoltan or whatever his name is, come out with anything since he said the uh, he got it wrong, supposedly. So we will see what happens when he comes out. I would, I would tell him if he watches this, check the $100 bill scenario when Steve Mnuchin in the middle of December came out and says there's $1.5 trillion dollars in hundred dollar bills in foreign banks that is unaccounted for i'll guarantee you he accounted for them for the year end all right so this is what's happening on tuesday coming up january 14th they got to release a new schedule of pomos what, what are they going to do now they said they're going to pull back um but they said they're going to pull back and they've left the, the old schedule the same so we'll see how big the pullback is and if the pullback actually does happen. Um, remember, this was mass. This month was massively inflated for the year-end thing. So it should be a huge pullback if the Fed is not lying to us. The Fed has lied to us in mid-September, at the end of September, in the middle of October, and November and December, and they have lied every single time. The reason they gave for bailing out the banks has been different every single time. So we will see what happens on Tuesday. It should be interesting. But here's what the Fed said. Um, the Fed also highlighted the possibility of buying Treasury coupons in the event of a bill scarcity and gradually transitioning away from active repo operations as bill, purchase bill purchases permanently increase reserves. There you go. So they're trying to stop the reserves, but a backdoor bailout with buying treasury coupons. I'll dive into that as it comes. I'm sure they'll announce that on uh, Tuesday. they got to announce something because these banks are hurting for certain. Anyway, that's what's going on right now. Um, if you're a private road member, I keep you up to date. I also posted two more videos. One is... Uh, Epstein and Clinton cover up or soon to be exposed. Lots of good stuff behind the scenes coming out there. And then uh, meet QAnon. I expose who QAnon is. If you're interested, RoadToRoad.com. Hit subscribe. And you get, for your one-year subscri subscription, one Veritasium token and the coolest coin ever, the Road to Ruta silver coin. I believe these will pay for the subscription easily. But, hey, that's no guarantee. Big Swear, I'll talk to you guys later. I grew up in the USA, I was taught that speech was free. Birmingham to Burning Man, you can speak any truth you see. Lately things have changed, they say I can't speak truth no more. And I'm just sitting here wondering who they are working for. See, they, they're gonna kick me off of YouTube. Unless I say 9 is just another day And they delete my friends on Facebook Unless I pretend that socialism's A-OK -okay. And they are gonna shadow ban my Twitter Unless I tweet the chemtrails of Perrier Finally they'll ban everything I've got to say as they
kill free speech in the USA. They decide what's right, they decide what's wrong, they ban what won't conform. They sit in shadows, they run the gallows, say I must abide the norm. Without free speech we lose freedom, they cut off our free will. If I find truth that they don't like, they'll label me a shill. And then they, they're gonna kick me off of YouTube. Yes, I say 9 was just another day And they delete my friends on Facebook Yes, I pretend that socialism's a okay And they are gonna shadow ban my Twitter Unless I tweet the chemtrails of Perrier Finally they'll ban everything I've got to say As they kill free speech in the USA They're trying to kill free speech in the USA Now wait a minute, it's not like me to give up on a fight I'll expose their evil plans, bring their shadows into light. And I'll name names, I'll play their games, I've got them in my sight. They're trying to change the USA, I fight for what is right. So they, they can kick me off for you too. 9-11's all about Bill 7 and it ain't okay. And they, they can delete all my Facebook But socialists fail every time in every single way And they, they can shadow ban my Twitter But I'm looking up at Kim Trail skies each and every day See they have no right to ban anything I have to say And I'll fight for free speech in the USA I'm gonna fight for free speech in the USA It's my right, free speech in the USA